Hello and welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm doing technical analysis on a stock called TNXP. This is a pharmaceutical stock and the company name is Tonics. And I'm going to go through a different aspect of the stock. Not just the chart, but like their income statement, their 10K filing with SEC. And also determine where do I see a value here because the stock is dirt cheap right now. The stock is around 23 cents. And I'm going to find out what ha what is happening with the stock. And I, I potentially definitely see a value here so let's stick with me and I'll, I'll explain to you what I, why I think that there's a value to the stock so, so again it's a pharmaceutical company they have different branches where they're building uh, different vaccines for they're they're doing um, uh, vaccines for in infectious disease uh, central nervous system and immunology and for the infectious disease all their um, vaccines are in the some of our in phase one some are preclinical and they're moving toward the phase. Every time there's a phase change on a, on a, on a vaccine, that's a good news, right? That means the company's moving in the right direction. The second one is the central nervous system. Look at this is all green. For example, they're already passed majority of the like 75 percent of the vaccines already passed phase one. They're in phase two, and one of them actually is phase three. This is TNX one or two on top of my screen. Okay, and the the TNX two uh, twenty nine hundred for uh, Villi syndrome is around not pre preclinical and is moving toward phase one. The stock that moved today uh, because of this, TNX 1500, this is an organ transplant rejection immunology. Uh, the clinical trials have begun for this, which is why the stock is moving uh, a little upward direction today. And that's every time a, a phase will move, the stock price is going to fluctuate because people start getting, investors start getting more uh, confident about the, the whole company. Okay, so let's talk about their book value. This is when they registered to stock trading their stock. The book value was around 44 cents. Stock right now is 23 cents, so definitely undervalued in terms of what they thought the stock is and what is the current market price is. Market cap for the company is 118 uh, million. And on an average, the stock is traded at around 26 million, and the volume they today was 32 million is because of the preclinical for TNX 1500. Uh, the EPS is negative, which is negative two point, negative point two five, which is not a surprise as they are not currently selling. They're just doing their development research, and they haven't really sold anything as of yet because nothing has passed through. They're just doing testing right now on the vaccine. So their earnings next earning coming up is on May 13. Let's move on. Okay, so the institutional banks hold about 22.87%. 43 of the institutional banks, which is a big dog, big companies like Morgan Stanley, Chase Bank, Vanguard, you know, Fidelity, these are big companies. They own, they increased their position by 39 million and only 2 million were sold out, which means they're buying more, selling less. Again, again, the company is not out there selling right now. They are in research and development, so you got to believe in the company to be able to invest in this company. So they increased their position. 10 of the new holders increased their position 1.6 million and only 925,000 were sold. So they're buying more, selling less, which which sort of indicates that, you know, there is a potential here. So let's look at their 10K they filed last year. Their operating income is, is, is negative 92 million, which makes sense. And they broke it down by each vaccine they're working on, direct expense. And this is 68 million just for these vaccine trials and all that stuff with the expense, direct expense, and they have those have administrative expense. So they, they have spent about 92 million 287 last year, 2021, as they're moving to next phase. Uh, but their cash flow is saying that they raised about 212 million. So 212 million minus uh, 92, they're still sitting on uh, 100 plus million for this year, okay? And they're about to release their earning in May, which I don't think is going to be anything different. Maybe they have less expense, operating expense, which I doubt they, they you know, maybe I'm not sure. But as as far as they're, if, if they're, oh, any of the vaccines is, goes through and they're, they're about to implement that, in the market then there definitely gonna be a spike to the stock price okay that's what i'm after myself <clears throat> so i'll be purchasing for myself again not a something that you know i'm asking everybody to do but this my, my i'm going to be purchasing this stock just for the fact that um they are making progress and the stock went up one one percent or so because of you know the clinical trial that came in for tnx 1500 as far as the the technicals are concerned the the stock is on a downward shift because Again, they don't have anything they're selling, right? Everything is an expense at this point, right? So you got to believe in the company to be able to invest in it. If they start going up, for example, they're releasing their um, May 30, May 2013, I believe we saw was their, uh, let me go back to it for a minute, one moment. 
Let me see if I go back to the earning call. It's believed May 13th. Okay, so May 13th, let's say they come up with, and before May 13th, you're probably going to see some spike in the uh, spike in the uh, the price. And you know, there's a there's a resistance here at 41 cents. And I've seen that when I was doing my analysis, I saw that last year when the earnings was about to come up, the stock did go up to 50, 55 or 59 cents. So there's always that thing where you know when the earnings are about to be released a lot of people as they're not know about the cash flow and and all that other stuff in the background sometimes they just start investing to be able to capture some of the profit which you know makes sense at the end of the day you want to be able to cut whichever way you want to make profit you could do that so last time they released the earning the stock went around 55 59 or so but again i am thinking that probably when they're going to release earnings in may you might going to see a shift on that but there's a resistance at 40 around 41 41 to 40 to 45 or so there's a resistance here there's a resistance at 59 so if it crosses this purple mark it's going to go to 59 if it crosses that 59 it's going to go to 78 cents so 78 is achievable within the time frame within the within the phases they're moving on the on the vaccines which is doable because they were at one dollar uh as they moved progressed on on their phases on these different vaccines so one dollar is achievable within the phase movement when they do actually go live with the vaccines any of them neurology or you know covid or whatever the case is you could potentially see the stock uh going further up from one dollar so i'm gonna be definitely picking a few shares of uh this company just because of the fact that they're making progress and I'm not too concerned about it's only 22 cents. It's dirt cheap. It's, it's cheaper than what their book value was. It's 44 cents, right? That that's what they thought with all the analysis and expectations that they'll be doing all the clinical trials and et cetera, et cetera. They know they were gonna sell anything. They still thought the stock was worth 24, uh, 44 cents. But right now the stock is 22 cents. It's dirt cheap, in my opinion. I'll definitely be picking a few shares of this uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'll see how the price. I'm still going to wait for the price to drop a little bit again because I don't think the price is going to sustain that 23 cents. It could the possibility that, you know, looking at the the EMA, the exponential moving average on a four hour chart and the MACD and RSI looks like the stock uh, probably will decline just a little bit. Maybe I'll be able to capture another two cents uh, decline. I could probably be able to capture that. So again, this is my quick analysis. I just want to make sure that we're not just looking at the the charts, you know, the videos I'm I'm trying to make, and I want to give as much as like background on the on the company. So if somebody's looking at it, at least they're they're trying to make a a, a very decision as why they're spending money on a stock and is there a company potential? I mean, this is not like uh, AMC where people are shorting the stock and everybody's uh, running the tide. I'm here for a long long play i'm here for a portfolio i want to be able to build wealth i don't want to be playing hot plays i mean hot plays are good don't get me wrong but the objective here is to be able to get in a, in a cheaper position and be able to expand on it and and to the point where you, you know you could substantially make a long lasting dollar amount so yeah this is my quick video hopefully you guys liked it if you did like the video do subscribe to the channel hit me give me a, a you know a thumbs up for for the video it keeps me motivated uh and i'll speak to you guys in the next video thank you